And I, I look around, I see quite a few councillors here, and without naming all the councillors here, welcome to you as well, councillors, because without your support and all the work that we did together, we would not be here, standing here today, uh, celebrating this victory that we all had in relation to structural reform. Appreciate it. Can I ask, please, a big special round of applause for Paul Collins for all the work that he did. Well done, Paul. Thank you very much. So, ladies and gentlemen, local government reform is dead, dead and buried. And can I say that is an, an understatement. I'm, as a mayor, uh, and speak on behalf of himself and the council, we're actually thrilled that, that it's all over. So, again, without your support, without you raising all your voices, I've no doubt the momentum of the campaign overall uh, against reform probably wouldn't have been as successful as it was. But can I say, back in July 2013, the state government announced new, mo new local government boundaries. We, we were completely stunned to hear that Stirling, often singled out as a leader in local government uh, in Western Australia, would be carved up. That, that we were absolutely stunned. Instead, in my words, we weren't carved up, we were decimated. And I was really, really hurt to hear that the state government, as in the Premier uh, and all, used the city of Stirling as a role model. This is what we aspire, large local government authorities. This is how it is. Scales of economy, it was fantastic. And what happened, as soon as reform was, was considered, they come out and they said, well, guess what, City of Sterling? We know you're great, but guess what? We're going to chop off a bit here and a bit off, bit off there. And in total, that was about 17% of the City of Sterling that was get, going to get decimated. And that, in, in, in dollar value to us, was something in, in the tune of about $29 million in revenue, which we weren't going to get. Can I tell you, that would have been a big, big hole in our budget and uh, would have made it hard for us to, to I guess, give you people all the things that we do give you on a daily day-to-day -day -day basis. It was people power at its best. It was really what, that's what it was all about. So guess what? We all get to stay in Sterling. How happy are we? Are we? And all, all, the, all that is good news because we are well run. And can I tell you, we are debt free, debt free. We have one of the lowest rates in the metropolitan area. Yes, we have. I think last year we were probably about the third lowest uh, rate rise in Western Australia. Can I say we're very, very proud of that. Uh, and this year we're looking to maintain about the same as what we did last year. So we haven't done it in our budget yet. So we're looking to maintain that status again this year. Uh, just to prove that being a, a, a large local authority does, does work and does help to keep those rates at a minimum. So as Mayor, I intend to do that and, and uh, keep those rates low. We have an excellent, uh, an excellent uh, record of delivering many, many projects uh, in each and every one of our suburbs uh, through the year in Stirling. And all you've got to do is look at here to see what, what's, what we produced here. And, and so happy are we that this gets to remain with the City of Stirling. And Stirling has been in the forefront of heritage protection in Western Australia. And again, as I said, the Mount Lawley Society has had a lot to do with that. So enough from me. The day is all about you, you saying thanks to, say, say, to all the people uh, who are here today. Please enjoy the, the sausage sizzle, the games, the coffee, the cupcakes, as the day is all about you. Again, I thank you all very, very much. Thank you for coming here to support the day, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you very much.